Hello, this is a comparison between two small grand pianos that we have in stock. This is a Foric 161. Uh, we sold this piano in 2011 and the uh, client's downsizing, so we got it back into stock. And this is a Steinway Essex made in 2007, uh, and that's 155 inches long. That's five, sorry, centimeters, that's five foot one inches. Now both pianos are in the same price range. There's very, very little difference between these and brand new pianos. Um, I want to bring out some of the technical aspects and work that we might need to do on each piano. But, uh, this is a quick look in the inside of the Foric 161. There's 162 is uh, the Foric 162 nowadays, which is um, really not any difference, not discernible difference between the two. And the Steinway Essex is a slightly smaller piano designed um, by Steinway and made in, both pianos are made in China. This is made in the Pearl River factory and the um, Forex made in the Ningbo factory, the both two of the biggest factories. Should briefly say that the casework on both pianos is practically immaculate. There's no no scratching, no significant scratching anyway, or, or veneer missing or anything like that. I want to listen to the tone of them now. This is the Forex. And the Essex. It has a mellower sound, definitely. And back to the Foric. So it's a, a, a fuller sound, a bigger sound, a uh, stronger sound, a bit brighter. So I think this one would be more suitable for a slightly bigger room. Back to the Essex. Now both pianos had very little use. This one um, has a heavier touch weight. So that's 60 grams. It's just about to go down. Um, let's try it on this C sharp. So just going down with 60 grams, which is too heavy, really. I want to show you how we can try and lighten that. And this is the Essex. Um, this is 52 grams, and it's going down on most of them, about 52 grams, that one there. Uh, so 52 grams is about acceptable, really. Um, anything between 48 and 50, that one's lighter, isn't it? So 48 and 52 is ideal for normal playing. Now the client who bought the Foyrick from us in 2011 lived in a, an older house. The piano was in the middle of a room, but it must have been perhaps on, slightly on the damp side. And if that happens, then you, you, you get these hinges seizing up slightly. And uh, if we lubricate the hinges, we'll see how much that reduces the touch. And also, uh, we would want to lubricate here as well, but you have to take the keys out and uh, we use dry lubricant to lubricate the, the, center, the hole in the center. So that's really important. It mustn't elongate the hole, by the way. We just lubricate it with um, talc or, or Teflon. And looking back at the hammers now, so let's have a look and see which ones swing. So this one here, let's choose that one, which is C sharp. So we'll see how we can reduce the weight of that. So there's a C-sharp with 61 grams and it's just about going down. Let's try to lift it up again. And so there we are, 61 grams and it's just about enough to cause it to go down. So it's the C-sharp, the, let's try, sorry, that one, the middle of those three and see going down later and they're all slightly stiff. So you want to take the hammer off and uh, it's just, to see how tight the hinge is first of all. Oh, let's get the hammer off. There we are. I'm using one hand here, so I'll have to stop the camera because I'm going to need both hands for this. Now, if I drop this from right angles, it should swing seven times. Let's see what happens. It doesn't swing at all, so definitely too tight. So now we're going to add a bit of Protec piano lubricant to the hinge. There we are. Just a small amount. And then the other side too. I actually added a bit more afterwards. Let's try the swing test again. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six and a half or six. 
once more. I've usually got someone with me to do this, but I haven't today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It shouldn't only really go more than that. So now let's reduce the weight to 56 grams, which is acceptable. Um, as we lubricate the center rail, the center hole um, with Teflon or talc and just make sure it's fluid, then that'll, that'll make the extra difference, I think, bring it down to by another couple of grams. So that would be quite acceptable. See, it's very tight. If I, this is C here, but C sharp, very tight um, and needs to be falling down easily. Yeah, the keys on the stein we fall down very, very easily. And that's what we want to achieve on, on the forex. And then there's no, no reason why the touch on the forex shouldn't be back to normal. It was set up normally in the first place. Just a final point before we go to listen to both pianos. Uh, the construction of the forex is much more traditional. I've mentioned this before, uh, the forex upright sand grands. Uh, this is wooden. And the Essex has got aluminium like Yamaha's have. Um, now, they both function well now. It's just that uh, if you've been in Triumph Piano for a long time, you appreciate traditional design because it's easier to work on if you ever need to, say, change the hammers at a much later date. Just, to, just a brief look at the hammers on both pianos. This is the Essex. And no real wear on this piano at all. No use whatsoever. It's been kept in a good dryish environment if it's too dry by the way then you get problems uh, so this this is this is nice and fluid this action and uh, obviously been played in so that's helpful so the difference between this and a new piano is this one's been played in a bit which actually tends to make it sound a little more even and a little more responsive too and the same with the fork it's got these dark lines because i've marked them so that i could voice for the unicorder when i first sold the piano um, that's something I like to do so that we get a contrast on the unicorder um, from the normal playing. So this is the Forex 161 um, and it's a piano that we sold in 2011 so it's come back into stock. Not really much different from when it went out. I don't think, the pianos don't tend to deteriorate at all over that period of time. And as I say, they've been put, it's been played in now hammers at their optimum tone. Sorry, our uh, bigger button, 161, and um, uh, we will, of course, perfect it as much as we can. We'll put the same guarantee as if it was a new piano. Thank you very much for listening.